On this week's action-packed episode of Theme Park Worldwide The Show, I'm going to be talking to you about all the details on Movie Park Germany's exciting new roller coaster set to open in 2017. DJ's Summerland have also announced a new ride set to open next year. Now I've got all the details I'm going to share with you here on the show. Along with that, an opening date has now been released for Ferrari Land. Not only are we going to reveal that, but we're also going to have a look at the latest construction over at Port Aventura World. We're going to be looking at the brand new high ropes course at Drayton Manor and of course talking a little bit about a brand new ride coming to Walton Towers in CBeebies Land for 2017. Along with all that, Merch Paradise, Ask Me Anything and Interact With Me. I'm Sean Sandbrook, this is Theme Park Worldwide The Show, and that means it's time to cue those titles. And a very warm welcome to this week's episode of the show here on Theme Park Worldwide. What has happened to the weather this week? If you're living here in the UK and you're watching this video, you'll agree that the weather has been absolutely awful. We've had rain, we've had wind. What has been going on? It's the middle of July. Hopefully the weather's going to pick up soon. If you're watching this from abroad, A, I'm jealous, and B, I hope the weather is nice out there for you guys to go and sort of see all these different theme parks and enjoy it over the summer period. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get some nice weather over the next few weeks. Going to be heading to a lot of the regular parks that I do here in the UK over the next few weeks. So check out our live updates on Twitter and Facebook, uh, along with also watching the vlog when they go online uh, from each park afterwards. So make sure you check out on our Facebook and Twitter pages when we announce the days we're going to be doing live updates. Uh, in terms of other stuff going on, of course, this weekend it is the Blackpool Pleasure Beach Theme Park Worldwide event. We're looking forward to seeing over 100 of you uh, that are looking to attend that event. It's going to be great. If you still want to pop down, all you need to do is buy your wristband for Blackpool Pleasure Beach. You can either buy it on the day or buy it on the website at a discounted price. And we're going to be meeting at 10 o'clock outside the entrance to Valhalla. Uh, it's going to be a really good day. Like I say, the park's open to a minimum of 7 o'clock. It could be extended later to maybe 8 o'clock. Uh, it all depends on the crowds on the day but no matter what we're going to be there we're going to have a good day it's a chance for all of you out there to come and join us for a day at a theme park I know a lot of you want to come and meet myself and the other guys from theme park worldwide and that is your opportunity to join us for a day appear in a vlog if you want to pick up your exclusive merchandise such as your lanyards and pin badges and yeah it's going to be a genuinely good day so I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible at Blackpool Pleasure Beach this Saturday anyway we've got lots to kick on then in this week's show lots of different news so let's kick straight in with news off the rails Now the first bit of news I'm going to report on is from Movie Park Germany. Now this is a park I visited for the first time last month. If you've not seen our vlog, check it out here on the channel. And I was genuinely quite impressed with the park. I enjoyed the different themed areas, really enjoyed Van Helsing's factory, and thought there were some really nice, unique rides at that park. However, they have now announced and confirmed they are going to be building a Mac launched roller coaster for 2017. Of course, we knew different rumours about this attraction, but we didn't really know the details and especially what the ride it was going to be based on. It's actually going to be called Star Trek Operation Enterprise. Ooh, so all you Star Trek fans out there are going to love this one. And um, what we're looking at is a Mac uh, mega coaster with a twist, but I'll get onto that in a second. Uh, it's expected to basically have a new element on there. So, like I say, could be quite good. Uh, it's going to be the second tallest structure in the park uh, after the drop tower, which they've got there. Uh, it's going to also going to be the only roller coaster in the world to have a Star Trek license. Uh, so we go on quite a bit about licensing, or as we call them, IPs. Uh, and basically, that means anything that's based on characters like CBeebies Land or a movie franchise, that sort of thing is all uh, an IP. Um, so yeah, that's what it's going to be, Star Trek. I mean, yes, I am quite a big Star Trek fan. I do like it. I've not watched it for a number of years now. I used to like it when I was a kid. I used to watch that with my dad. Um, uh, but yeah, it's going to be quite interesting to see what this ride really brings theming-wise. If it's going to be anything like Van Helsing's Factory with the theming, then we're in for a good one. Obviously, I'm not expecting the same sort of style, but you know what I mean. Heavy theming, lots going on, uh, maybe a couple of indoor sections. Who knows what this ride could have? It is very exciting. Uh, the new ride's very close to the entrance of the park, actually. And um, The CEO of the park described it as wanting to be a very sort of focal point to Movie Park Germany. You walk in uh, onto the plaza where there's a nice fountain, and then just off to the left, you see this massive new structure from Mac. Uh, like I say, the second tallest structure in the park, uh, which is going to be great to see, and definitely something on the cars to go and 
ride out there next year. Uh, so construction uh, has begun. They've been clearing all the area, uh, as you can see from this photo here from the official Facebook page. Uh, you can see just there how they've been clearing the land. Some footers have gone in, that sort of thing. Uh, but we've not got any supports or track just yet. That is expected to be in the next few weeks. Like I say, they announced this a few days ago uh, that it was going to be Star Trek themed uh, and obviously confirmed the plans for a Mac. However, we still don't know the exact like layout, that sort of thing. It's all still up in the air. There's a few different concepts going about the layout, but we haven't got 100% confirmed layout for this ride yet. But as soon as we get some details for officially from the park, I will share them with you here on Theme Park Worldwide. But look at that there, uh, a nice construction sort of image. But like I said earlier, you know, it's going to feature a unique element. What could this be? I mean, uh, you know, Intamin are building some interesting rides out there in the world. I think in China they've opened a new ride, which looks quite interesting. Uh, maybe the Mac are going to go with that sort of style. It's like a sort of outward loop, the non-inverting loop style, but, uh, you know, maybe something a bit like that would be interesting. I mean, Mac are very, very good at doing these new concepts. And I expect this, when they say a Mac Mega Coaster with a twist, uh, yes, it's going to have these traditional launch and things, but maybe it's just going to have some different elements what make it quite a unique ride in Europe. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Obviously, we're getting quite a lot of Mac Mega Coasters around Europe now, so it's nice to see this one's having something a bit different. And when we get that confirmed difference, I will be sure to share it with you here on Theme Park Worldwide. Next up then, DJ Summerland. Not actually a park that I've been to. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right there at all. Uh, they're set to open a family suspended roller coaster also for next year in 2017. Uh, the ride will be part of a brand new immersive themed area and it's a 12 million euro investment by the park. These parks out there are really investing big in families at the moment. I mean, look at what Paulton's Park did this year here in the UK. Two brand new rides from Vacoma, a massive new themed area of the Lost Kingdom. It's absolutely fantastic. If you don't have a clue what I'm going on about, uh, if you haven't seen it, check out our Paulton's Park vlog uh, or even the Lost Kingdom walkthrough, which is online here on the channel. And it really is the best themed area that the UK has ever seen. And hopefully it's the start of some good things for us here in this country. Uh, as abroad, that's where all the good theming seems to be done. Uh, but there you go. So we'll have to see with that one. Uh, so it's going to be manufactured by Intamin, which is surprising. So obviously normally with these family coasters, uh, family suspended coasters, you expect Vekoma to be doing it. Uh, but no, it's actually going to be an Intamin, and that's the confirmed manufacturer for this ride. It's going to be Europe's fastest and longest uh, family suspended coaster, 30 metres tall, 825 metres in length. And it's also got a unique element, which is yet to be announced. Ooh, two new rides that have been announced this week uh, that have got a unique element. So like I say, looking forward to getting out to that part one day. And of course, as construction carries on over in the winter we'll be sharing that with you here on theme park worldwide Ferrari Land at Port Aventura World in Spain is something that I'm looking forward to seeing complete next year. And we've now got an opening date for this brand new park. Uh, now, the park was set to open on the 7th of April 2017. There's been a lot of confusion whether, whether this is actually a land added on to Port Aventura Park or if it's a sec second gate park. It is a second gate park. You are going to require separate admission. But whether it's going to be a separate admission ticket or you can do like a combi ticket with the park, I assume they're going to do uh, similar to like Walt Disney Studios in Paris and Disney park so we'll have to see with that one uh, but it's looking to me like this is going to be great i was quite concerned about how this coaster was going to look on the landscape initially but now i just need some more images and stuff i think it's looking great uh, so first off i want to share this image just here i mean look at this one from the station uh, i mean look at that that just shows how you're going to launch straight into that uh, lsm launches on this as well it's not a cable launch obviously manufactured by intamin but this will be the tallest roller coaster uh, in europe uh, when it opens taking the crown from shambhala which is at their own Park, which is very interesting to see Port Ventura wanting to beat their own record. Uh, like I say, it's 112 meters tall, so it's big. Uh, an intimate accelerated coaster, like I say, you know, it's going to use the LSM launches to reach 112 uh, miles per hour. So there you go, it's got a good speed to it, it's going to be a good launch. It's going to be more gradual over about five seconds, though, I believe. It's not going to be with a cable launch, obviously, you fasten to the catch car and then the hydraulics launch you off. With this, it's going to be more of a gradual, uh, kind of like Blue Fire kind of launch, you know. Obviously a lot faster than Blue Fire and Helix, but you know it's gonna gradually pick up speed. And by the time you get to the end and you start going up, um, you know it's gonna be really fast. And I look forward to uh, experiencing that. We will be there next year at Port Ventura for that brand new ride. I can't wait to go and cover it here on the channel. Uh, it's looking great. Uh, also then in that park, you've also got a go-kart track, two shot towers, a simulator, and a mystery attraction. Looks like you've got a bit of a Venice-style building going on there as well, a bit of Italy, you know. So obviously, the Italians, uh, you know, have, have put this in. It's an Italian-owned company that run Port Ventura now. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this sort of fits in uh, with Port Ventura World. I'm glad that it's a second gate and not actually part of Port Ventura. I think if you'd gone into Mediterranean and been able to walk from a path, 
it would have been a bit iffy, but the fact it's got its own entrance off the plaza, that sort of thing, makes me happy, and I'm looking forward to checking it out for you guys here on Theme Park Worldwide next year. Very exciting, April the 7th, day for your diary there, guys. Now, Vertigo, uh, high and low ropes course has opened uh, this week at Drayton Manor, and it's very, very cheap. It takes about 30 minutes to do the high ropes course. Uh, there's some footage going on the screen just there. It's six pounds uh, on the day, or five pounds if you book online. Uh, if you're over 1.2 meters tall, uh, that is, uh, 20 minutes for the high ropes course. This is for people less than 1.2 meters tall. It's four pounds on the day, three pound online. Uh, and like I say, you must be uh, over two years old uh, to experience that there as well. Looking great then at Drayton Manor. It's interesting to see how they've put this in, especially having a lot of go apes and things around the country and Alton Towers opened the treetop quest, didn't they, last year, you know? So Drayton Manor, Alton Towers aren't that far apart, only about an hour's drive. So interesting to see. But like I say, Drayton are always pushing the family market. They want to become a resort. They've got the hotel. It won't be long, I don't think, until Drayton Manor adds resort to their title. They're always building their facilities, and it's great to see. Hopefully, in a few years' time, you know that park could be shining as one of the best parks in the country for its resort status. You know, it could have a water park, a spa, uh, you know, loads of new stuff. Drayton Manor's got a lot of room to expand, so hopefully, that's something we're going to see uh, in the future. Also talking about openings this week, Darren Brown's Ghost Train has now officially opened at Fort Park. Whee! It is no longer hashtag unavailable, uh, which is good to see. However, it has been suffering from a bit of downtime over the past week. So if you are going, please be advised, you might still not be guaranteed that ride. I mean, it didn't open the other day. I had some friends who were there. Uh, but they did get a complimentary ticket to come back, which was really good at Fort Park. Uh, but yeah, Darren Brown's Ghost Train, like I say, if you want some spoilers and want to hear all about it, check out our vlog from when we went there last week to go and experience the brand new attraction i absolutely loved it and yeah you guys really need to go and see that it's a brilliant thing to see here in the uk and hopefully we're going to see more of that happening over the next few years i mean millions need to be stepping up the game with theming which makes me smile so that's good to see darren brown's ghost train Okay, finally, also some more news from Merlin Entertainment, the company that owns Thorpe Park and Alton Towers. It was announced yesterday they plan to expand CBeebies Land with a brand new flat ride and also an indoor experience as well. Uh, quite a small indoor building, uh, which we can see, but it doesn't. we can't really tell what's going to be in there. It's got a queue line out the front, so maybe it's going to be some sort of meet and greet. That's what I'm placing my bets on. Maybe a photo point with a character, something like that. And also a spinning flat ride, kind of similar to what you'd see at uh, Disney, Dum the Dumbo Flying Elephant style. Uh, believe to be themed, of course, uh, to a CBeebies Land IP, which is currently not confirmed. There's a few rumours going about. I don't know my CBeebies characters, but there you go. It's a flat ride. People said they wanted flat rides at Alton Towers. One's going in. Uh, it's going to be located next to the Big Fun Showtime area and the Octonauts roller coaster. So sort of between Octonauts and uh, the Tree Fruit on like training camp. It's going to be on that land just there. So hopefully that's going to plan application is going to get passed, and soon we'll also be finding out about Secret Weapon Eight and when that application gets passed. So hopefully. Fingers crossed, Wood is going to be coming to Alton Towers for 2018. So it's all very exciting. Lots we've gone through there, news off the rails. A very exciting week to be a UK theme park enthusiast. Lots going on. And of course, well, theme park enthusiast anyway. It's always good to see this time of year we start seeing the announcements for next year. And uh, it's going to be really good. Of course, Theme Park Worldwide, the show, normally ends uh, in October, November at the end of the season. We're going to be in a lot more over winter this year. Uh, so expect that. Yeah, the show is not going to end. It's going to continue all the way through now. It's not going to end. So there you go I'm sure that'll make quite a lot of you happy out there a lot of the viewers uh, like I say I'm always listening to your feedback and your comments and I really want to make Theme Park Worldwide the best it can be uh, for you guys to watch so thank you very much for all your feedback and every single comment does get read so thank you very much it's now time for Merch Paradise <laughs> it is time for merch paradise and before i show you what i've got this week if you want to see a lot more of my merchandise you want to check out the brand new video that went on a couple of weeks ago it's the merchandise tour of theme park worldwide it's over an hour long and i go through all the different individual items here at theme park worldwide hq so make sure you check it out this one there you won't see in that video is it's brand new it's come straight over from la this one straight over from california uh from a good friend alex over there you might remember him from the vlog from when me and alex went back to disneyland in anaheim back in january this year uh that 
Alex has sent me this. It's from uh, Ghost Rider, a Knott's Brew Farm, a ride that I've still yet to do. It was shut when I was there in January. It was shut uh, back in September when we all went because it was having a refurbishment. Uh, but there you go, nice Ghost Rider mug. Look at that. I'm loving that one. I mean, the quality is not great at the top there, look. Uh, you can sort of see how it comes off. Uh, it's just been a transferred on. But Alex sent me that and I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Hope things are good out there in, uh, in LA and I look forward to getting out there again soon to see you. So there you go. I'm off to Florida first, but I'm sure LA won't be that far behind in the future. So there you go. Look forward to seeing him. Also, a friend, uh, Mark Megaphobia Lewis, good friend of mine, has sent me these. Uh, some new pin badges. Look at that. We've got a Megaphobia one there. The reason we call him Mark Megaphobia Lewis, if you don't know, is he's ridden that ride over 4,000 times. He's so committed. He's done charity rides on it. He's a really nice guy. Uh, you know, so thank you very much, Mark, for these. There you go. Uh, an Oakwood pin badge. Of course, we're going to be back at Oakwood, start of August, for two days of live updates, uh, which is going to be awesome for this week of August for our annual trip. And there you go, from Neverland, which is the children's, well, family-themed area uh, in the side Oakwood theme park. Thank you very much for sending me those items. I really do appreciate it, guys. And like I say, I'll have something else to share with you next week in Merch Paradise. It's now time for a Just Burn It update. It's time to burn. Yes, it is time to burn. If you don't have a clue what this section is and you've not been following Theme Park Worldwide for very long, you are looking out for Mr. Adidas himself, Dean Johnson. He's been in a lot of our vlogs here on the channel to see where he's wearing Nike. He loves wearing Adidas clothing and at three points this year, he has and will be wearing Nike clothing. We've already had one, uh, which we all know of, which was at Drayton Manor. He was there, you know, wearing his, wearing his Nike top, his blue Nike top. But since then has he appeared in another Theme Park Worldwide vlog, meaning I've got some more tickets to give away. So let's find out just yet if Dean has appeared in another Theme Park Worldwide vlog. No, he still has not appeared since that Drayton Manor day. So keep looking out, guys. If you want to know a lot more uh, about this, all you want to do is go in the description and check out the tiny URL link, and then you'll be able to click on that and find out all about how to enter. There's a Google form on there to fill out. Uh, really nice and easy. And you'll be in a chance of winning four tickets uh, to Drayton Manor, actually, with the next one. So keep an eye out uh, for Dean wearing Nike. As soon as you spot him in a vlog, uh, you've got seven days to fill out the form, uh, and then a winner will be picked at random and uh, shown here here on Theme Park Worldwide. So Max, say, keep an eye out for Dean. He's not appeared since the Drayton Manor, but surely there's two more to come this year. He's got to be doing another one soon. So uh, keep an eye out here on our vlogs on Theme Park Worldwide. Questions, questions, questions everywhere. Okay, so it's time for Ask Me Anything, the part of the show where you guys send in questions to me all week. And then Charlotte, the Theme Park Worldwide admin, will pick four questions for me to read out here on Theme Park Worldwide, the show. So, first question is from Joshua Ward. Hi, Joshua. Uh, what was the most funny moment in Theme Park Worldwide history? Well, there's been so many, but if I could pick out one that comes straight to me, is when we were at Oakwood a couple of years back, and there was a girl dressed as Santa. Bear in mind, we go in August every year, the middle of summer. She was dressed as Santa going around. And she literally in the middle of the vlog. I was there vlogging and she just went, ho, ho, ho. And literally, I was practically crying on camera. Check it out, the Oakwood vlog from a couple of years back. And yeah, it's well worth seeing. So thank you very much for your question. Uh, Jamie's asked, what is my favourite indoor coaster? Well, there's a few contenders for this one, but indoor coaster. I love Expedition Everest, but technically it's outdoors as well so I'm not going to go with that I'm going to go with Space Mountain Mission 2 at Disneyland Paris it's a combination between the soundtrack the trains the launch the fact it's an indoor coaster with inversions the lighting the effects it genuinely is just a fantastic ride so there you go thank you very much uh, for your question Rob has asked what do you prefer the Hex or the Valhalla uh, music <sighs> it's a tough one but it's going to have to be Hex I can't wait to get back on Hex hopefully fingers crossed it's going to open again soon at Alton Towers I love Hex to bits and hopefully uh, like I say you know, we're going to be hearing that blasting out in the vault soon. But uh, Valhalla music's great, but Hex just takes it to another level. I've got a really nice, high-quality soundtrack uh, of Hex. You know, I love playing it on my big speakers and listening to it. And, yeah, it just sounds like you're on the ride. Whack some smoke out as well on the smoke machine. And, yeah, uh, so there you go. Thank you very much for your question. Finally, Jenny Cousins has asked, if I could pick the mazes for Fright Nights 2016, which ones would you pick and why? Well, first off, I'd do away with Lionsgate. I would love the Lionsgate mazes, but I feel like I've done them that many times now, which so is... Uh, cabin in the woods and things and looks like we are getting some new stuff which is good this year uh, but however I'd like to see uh, them partner up I know it's never going to happen but I'd love to see uh, you know just some universal style mazes even if they weren't partnered with universal which will never happen uh, but just some 
similar to that, you know, I can't remember words out really, just similar mazes to Universal, or maybe into some unique themes, you know, it'd be nice in there. I mean, yes, I love the fact that Universal do The Walking Dead, that sort of thing. I imagine if they could partner up and do something like that in the UK. You never know. There's a lot of Walking Dead fans out there, right? So you never know. Uh, but there you go. Thank you very much for your questions. If you've got anything you want to ask me here on the show, all you need to do is email it in. It's ask at themeparkworldwide.co.uk. And there it is at the bottom, just like magic. Uh, and you can also send it in as a private message on our Theme Park Worldwide Facebook page. Uh, we'll get back to you on there and let you know if it's going to be here on the show. The opening titles to this section always make me just want to jump around the room and dance, so hope it makes some of you feel like that as well. And of course, it is Interact With Me, the final section of this week's episode of the show. Hope you've enjoyed it, it's been action-packed, and like I say, it's been action-packed full of news, but we've also got lots and lots of Interact to read out this week, so let's get straight in with what we've got. First off, we've got some photos from Jake uh, Whitmarsh with a wild water barn uh, on ride picture, so there you go, thank you very much uh, for sharing that with me. Sean Wright with a stealth on ride photo, Catherine and with a stealth on-ride photo. I can spot someone who looks really awesome in that picture as well. Look at that. Uh, great to see you guys at Thorpe Park. you got Chrissy Collins with a smiler on-ride photo. you got Paul outside Shambhala. Yes, loving that. Thanks for sharing. Uh, Fabio with a silver star on-ride photo from Europa Park. Live updates from Europa Park coming up here on the channel, Fabio. Uh, less than two weeks ago, me and Charlotte are going to be there. It's Charlotte's first time. Uh, it's about my sixth, seventh time now, so I can't wait to share the updates with you here on the show. Thank you very much for your uh, photo there. Uh, Liam Waite with a Furious Backer on ride photo. Uh, hope you enjoy being jolted about. It's a good fun ride though, good launch. Uh, maybe not the best launch in Europe though, as soon as we get the new one in Ferrari. So there you go, thank you very much for sharing. Chris Johnson's on the Sky Ride there at Alton Towers. Hope you had a good day. Uh, you got David Bully, uh, him and his wife also at Alton Towers. There you go, hope you had a great time at the park. Uh, you got Cars Channel on Skyforce at Blackpool. There you go. Just what it says on the tin. Uh, Tom with an Anubis on ride photo. Ooh, there you go. I love Anubis. Thanks for sharing that with me. And finally, you've got Rihanna Johnston. Uh, Rihanna Johnston. Johnstone. There you go. With a Raptor attack on ride photo. I'm awful at pronouncing names. I get worse each week. Um, there you go. I like Water Valley. Again, like Water Valley and Flamingo Land will be coming up in the next few weeks here on Theme Park Worldwide. Ooh, it's all very exciting. Uh, next up, people who've had photos with the TPW crew. You've got David Bully, who had a photo with me and Harriet, the Turnstiles. Uh, you got Stacey Smith, who had a photo also there with me. Uh, you got Lorna Whedon, uh, with, uh, with Fraser there, who's got a photo there with me, so thanks for sharing that. Brandon uh, also had a photo there with me. And finally, you've got Karen Brown. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much. If you do see me at the parks or any of the TBW crew, stop us. We're nice. Come and have a photo with us, and it can be sent in here for Theme Park Worldwide, the show merchandise that you guys have sent in then you got george foster with some pa merchandise Ooh, loving that uh, brooke richardson with a smiler t-shirt yeah loving those uh, you got levin collins uh, with a smiler mug and a ride chain so there you go thank you very much for those um chris beck with a huge merch collection look at that that is literally a world of theme parts of your very own there so thank you very much for sharing that Happy birthdays this week, then a big happy birthday uh, to Lewis Bricknell, uh, also to Zach uh, Buchnan. I'm absolutely awful at saying these, is it Buchnan? Yeah, Buchnan, we'll go for that. So happy birthday. Uh, sorry if I've said your name wrong. Uh, Megan Taylor, happy birthday to you. Happy 10th birthday uh, to Stanley Wilson, happy birthday to you. And happy 40th birthday to Paul Murrell as well. So there you go. Uh, happy birthday to all of you guys. If you've got a birthday shout out, make sure you do send it in. We don't just do shout outs for anything. You know, it's got to be a nice special occasion, an anniversary, a birthday, something like that. So make sure you do uh, send them in to us. Uh, the usual ways, private message on the Theme Park Worldwide Facebook page. Drop us a like whilst you're there as well. And also you can email in. It's interact at themeparkworldwide.co.uk. There it is at the bottom of your screen. Uh, so there you go. Literally, it's been an action-packed show. I've really enjoyed this one. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And like I say, check out our other videos coming up this week on Theme Park Worldwide. We'll have our event vlog. We'll have some more on and off right videos so keep an eye out for those here on theme park worldwide hope you've enjoyed watching make sure you check out some of our other vlogs here on the channel and that means it's time to cue those credits have an awesome week guys see you soon <laughs>